This video provides a brief overview of our Thermal Rail Proof of Concept hardware. The Proof of Concept tests key components suitable for mass manufacture and provides a look at the performance and operation of Thermal Rail at a small scale. For the Proof of Concept, we developed a low-cost fanless server simulator that has all the components commonly found on an average server. While thermal rail can be used for any type of server design, including hybrid air or liquid-cooled systems, we opted for a design that takes full advantage of thermal rail's unique features to create a solution that will be lower in cost than a similar air-cooled server. This is achieved by combining the cost and reliability benefits that a fanless server provides with a reduced component count, part of this being due to thermal rail uniquely enabling the use of an injection molded chassis component. By reducing the complexity of the server design, savings are then generated by reducing the manufacturing complexity, leading to a simpler assembly process, and in production, this design may also be completely toolless, so that it is as simple to disassemble and repair as existing air-cooled servers. Among the benefits of thermal rail is how simple it is to use and install, and as can be seen here, installation is easy and simple. There's no additional complexity and it's actually easier than in a normal rack environment. Here we have a number of systems running over a period of 8 hours, compressed into about a minute, each system consuming 450 watts and cooled by an active-active thermal rail configuration, which runs at about 18 watts per server. It is expected that as the technology is refined, that that figure will drop to about 5 watts per server. After an hour, the temperatures have stabilized and all temperatures are within their design envelopes. Of particular interest are the CPU temperatures, which are between 55 and 60 degrees Celsius, which are lower than would be expected in a typical air-cooled or even direct liquid-cooled environment. After four hours, it can be seen that the temperatures are still stable and are simply tracking the change in coolant temperature, the coolant having increased in temperature by a couple of degrees since the last measurement. This trend continues and after 8 hours temperatures are still stable and, as expected, are tracking the change in coolant temperature. With this proof of concept, we've proven that thermal rail works and will provide stable cooling for any component and, by extension, any type of server design. But we've done more than that. We've also shown that thermal rail is safe and easy to use and design for. We've demonstrated hardware designs for both key enclosure components and servers that can be built cost-effectively and at scale. We've shown that Thermal Rail has what it takes to cool the data center of the future, reducing costs and energy use, and we hope, enabling the data center industry to be a world leader in energy efficiency and waste heat recycling. Thank you for your time.